Hi PL Drone, one more video, overdue video. Um, this project has been done uh, quite a while ago, uh, but let's just look into it. This has been, this is a Blade 350 QX, been purchased off eBay as is. Dead motherboard uh, or mainboard flight controller. Uh, so I thought let's try and just get her up on a budget because um, the flight control loan is $200 which uh, I believe is a bit steep, but anyways. Um, so I thought, okay, let's put a Nace 32. So steps that I took, I just removed the main board from here. That's usually where the main board is. Um, I did trim it to only leave the portion where the um, ESC wires connect, which is now that small, it's here. You could leave it at the bottom if, if that's the case. Uh, just use it as a distribution board or not it's really totally up to you on the other side here um, there is a cheap uh, I would say 3 amp uh, Beck uh, from Hobby King um, glitch buster here uh, what I had to do is um, usually there's like three uh, four stand-ups here um, where usually you could screw your gimbal I had snipped those down and leveled them. Um, after that, I used a uh, Lexan body reamer to make this uh, hole. And after I just managed to, um, you know, stabilize the board using Bondic and everything, I just heated that portion with a heat gun and just pushed the, the plastic. It's very soft under heat, actually, uh, softer than what I thought. Um, so now I can have like full access to it. Uh, to tune it or change anything. Um, one extension here, that's the bind uh, channel uh, from the receiver. This is a lemon receiver. Um, for some reason, the stock ESCs didn't want to really communicate with anything, not even a servo tester directly. Uh, maybe they were burned or not, I, I have no clue. So I had to go with the different ESCs. These are 12 amp, um, Emax ESCs, that's the very, very first generation. Um, they're pretty budget kind of uh, ESCs. I had leads out here to program it when I was trying to do that. I mean, again, that was done quite a while ago. If you're now, we are probably gonna use a uh, serial RX satellite receiver, which way less cluttery than this. Uh, just three wires running between the receiver and the board and save you a lot of that clutter. Uh, but other than that, these are the changes, running the stock battery, um, everything the same. Uh, she looks from outside the same, but she flies really crazy now, thanks to the uh, NACE 32. And she flies pretty smooth um, on stock settings, nothing has been changed. Uh, other than that, uh, I might be just thinking in the future, Maybe stick a camera in here and a transmitter and just try to use her as a, as a um, FPV trainer slash racer, whatever. It's just too big to race. But uh, I'm amazed how those motors perform, uh, stock motors. Um, the previous ESC, original ESCs, they're rated for 10 amps. So this 12 amp should do really fine, which, which it did. Um, pretty much that's it as for that build. Um, nothing really much to uh, do uh, except what I explained. Of course, I, if, if you can see, I just, this is totally bare, acrobatic. Uh, I ditched the compass, the, uh, the GPS, even the landing gear. I uh, didn't really need it much. Um, that's it, it's just, she flies beautiful um, on horizon mode. Uh, so, there is a video on the channel that was pretty much the first video I posted with this flying line of sight. If you're interested, you can have a look at it. Thanks and see you in a later video. Thank you.